Hey class, I hope you're having a great week. I wanted to give you some details about the activity for this week. So we are talking about risk management on week five. And if you scroll down our Blackboard page, you will see the Rec Center Inspection Activity. This activity is designed to simulate a periodic inspection conducted at the Student Recreation and Wellness Center. Now, I know this is an online class, so we tried to get creative with how this activity will run. I wanted to show you what an inspection actually looks like. Uh, so at Ball State University, the Rec Services Department, uh, they conduct periodic inspections of their facilities multiple times on a daily basis. They complete these inspections to make sure that their facilities are safe and that they come across any hazards uh, that they are prompt to address any issues, any safety concerns, any hazards that are found uh, in and around their facilities. So they're really proactive in making sure their facilities are safe and no one is getting hurt. A proactive approach to risk management. If you look at this inspection form, uh, all of their inspections are completed online. Uh, so no paper trail or no paper um, has to be used. However, documentation is key. Uh, you would indicate the name of the person completing the inspection, um, their specific role, and then uh, you would select the activity area. Now, this is a interactive interface in that right now you don't see any questions, but if I selected the five court gymnasium, now the inspection form has a logic behind it and fills in all of the questions associated with the basketball court. So if you were going to the basketball court to inspect it, you would look at the nets, you would look at the floor, is it dry, is it clean, uh, you would look at the padding, um, on the backboard, uh, you would look for scuffs on the floor, you would check out the lights, um, at the wall pads, you would look at the curtain dividers, you would check out the water fountains, um, electrical outlets, the exit lights, door alarms, benches, the clocks, card readers. As you can see, this inspection form is very detailed and easy to fill out, yes and no questions, but essentially the facility should look a certain way, it should operate a certain way to make sure that the patrons are not injured. Uh, and if there are any issues, then the facility managers can, managers can address them promptly. So what I did was take some of the characteristics uh, that would be evaluated in this inspection form and create an activity simulation. So if you go to week five and can click on Rec Center Inspection Activity, we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, this next screen will appear. Ah, pop up blocked. You might experience this. Let's see how to allow pop-ups. Okay, this is good. You might actually have to deal with this. Uh, launch course rec center inspection has been launched. Launch course. Here we go. This is the screen that you want to see. Now what you will be required to do is click on each of these uh, click on each of these buttons. So the Llewellyn Pool, uh, Outdoor Pursuits Rental Center, the Five Court Gymnasium, the Fitness Center, and then another Fitness Center upstairs. And when you click on this button, there will be information here. Um, the bottom of the pool should be visible with no trash. Uh, the lifeguard chair should be in working order and in the right location. Uh, the pool should have uh, these characteristics. And once you read all of this information, you will go back to the map. Essentially, we looked through the inspection form and looked for what should these facilities look like, how should they be operating, and those are the characteristics that are indicated in each of these specific areas. So in the outdoor rental area, electrical outlets shouldn't be damaged, computers are off exit lights are in working order, um, and so on and so forth. Now notice that once you've gone to these areas, the 
these arrow buttons will turn gray. So once you have gone to each area, read all of the information, the arrow buttons turn gray, gone to that area, go back to the map, gone to that area, make sure to read through all of the information, go back to the map, and then success. Click here to finish the activity. It's important to click this button because this will automatically grade your activity for this part. Um, so you will earn five points for going through each of those different uh, facility areas and reading through what they should look like as if you were conducting an inspection. So you should see inspection complete and that will automatically grade that component of the activity. However, you need to go back to course content and there's one additional component. If you scroll down, discussion rec center activity. So in order to earn the other five points for the activity, you need to go to this discussion board and there will be, oh, Timothy already completed it, that's awesome. Uh, you will have to answer the questions uh, that were outlined, right, let's see, that were outlined in this module. So what's the purpose of conducting facility inspections? What's the value of using a checklist? Uh, just respond to each of those five questions. And that is the activity for this week. If you have any questions or concerns regarding how to complete the activity, please let me know. When you are completing this rec center inspection activity, the simulation, please use Firefox instead of uh, Google Chrome, or use Google Chrome or Firefox, sorry, instead of Internet Explorer there can be issues with Internet Explorer, but if you do have any issues with accessing it, please let me know and we will figure it out. Okay, uh, have a great week. Good luck on your exam. If you have any questions uh, about the exam as well, let me know. Okay, I will talk to you later.